Oh yes, guys. The blood worm did the job. Hello makeshifters, today we're making and fishing a topwater mouse pattern and an abs bloodworm pattern. Originally I was only going to make a mouse pattern and fish with it all day, but I did make a, a bloodworm pattern too and took it with me just in case. And I got bites on the mouse and I did catch a trout on a bloodworm, so it kind of saved the day. So let me do a quick one minute tutorial of how to make a mouse pattern and then a full tutorial on how to make apps bloodworm. Hook I have in device, it's Gamakatsu F314 in size 2, 0 0.25 lead wire on the shank. Ultra chenille by Wapsi. For the body we are going to use this yarn. This is just your normal slipper. I have already cut, cut a piece out of it. And that is our mouse. The hook I have on the vise, it's Kamasan B830 in size 6. That's the beads that I have. They're not as round, they're kind of more skinny and long. That's the difference there, guys. We are using red thread and 6 odd, and here near the head I have a copper color tungsten bead in 3.8 mil in, in diameter. This was a skirt for a bus jig. We are going to use the dark, the dark red and black legs. And then just behind there, we're going to go into the whip finish. Now, guys, we're going to get two more legs. Here I have five beads. I'm going to pull three back and then, and then behind the first two. We are going to make a knot. And then we're going to pull it tight. Now we're going to push the beads forward. And then we're going to come in behind them. Behind here we are going to create a little dam, dam of thread, so the beads don't slide off. Okay guys, I got some synthetic dabbing in, in hot orange. Going to take a bit, not too much.
Okay, guys, here we go. Just have to cut the legs to size. So the way I do it is I would bring the back legs to the front. And then I would cut where the where the hook eye starts. And then same with the with the front legs. I would cut where the hook bend starts. And then I would bring up the side legs. And then cut them so they're even. There's the finished fly, not much to it, just some beads, legs and tread. But I have a feeling it's going to be effective. Now we need to put some, some varnish there. Lures are ready, let's check size and weight. Both lures are nearly the same size. Up's bloodworm with all the legs is six and a half centimeters, and a mouse pattern with the tail it's six and a half as well. Bloodworm zero point eight grams. A mouse pattern around one gram. Let's put them in the box and take them out fishing. Hello guys, we are out on the water again. Going to start with the ultralight mouse. Top water lure. Look at that guys, every time in March I see this, I don't see frogs but I just see frog eggs everywhere and and these guys are, are the responsible ones, look at that, can you see them, they're mating. <laughs> Better walk around them. <laughs> awesome, guys. Here we go, guys. We're getting closer and closer. Soon the magic of mousing for trout will happen. Oh, woodcocks. <laughs> They're always here. Here we are, guys. We are going to start with our top water mouse pattern. Yep, it floats. And the main thing with casting a top water mouse for trout that it floats. It has something furry on the body, so it looks buggy from the bottom when they're looking up at it. And when you're going to pull it across the water and see the wake it gives. That's the thing that gets the trout going, it's the wake.
light, guys. Oh. And I wasn't looking. Okay, guys, I have switched to the Apps Bloodworm. I'm gonna fish it until the evening and then try before sunset, try the mouse again. Oh yes, guys, the blood worm did the job. Oh, that's a good one, guys. That's a good trout. Oh. Oh. <laughs> if it's not a mouse, it's a blood worm. Oh. Look at that. Look at this bad boy, guys. Look at the Apps Bloodworm in the, in the co corner of the mouth. <laughs> that feels awesome, guys. That feels really rewarding. Let me take a quick picture. Let me get the fly out. Come on, buddy. Oh. Forty centimeters exactly. A forty centimeter trout. That's awesome, guys. Oh, that's awesome. Let me put him back here. There he goes. <laughs> this is makeshift lures and I approve this blood worm. <laughs> Retrieve is quite simple. You just cast it, reel in the slack, and then slowly turn the reel and then twitch the rod tip. That tends to be my most effective retrieve for most of my flies and jigs and nymphs. horse guys in the middle of nowhere beside the river <laughs> that's it he turned his back on me what a beautiful animal, big and strong. So it's getting late, the sunset is gonna happen soon. So one last chance to try some luck with our mouse. Let's see. Look at that guys, it's, it's a frog party here. Wow, look at the amount of frog eggs. They have dived down and if I just gently tap it there, you will see, look at that, it's all gooey, it's like a jelly.
Look at that, guys. <laughs> March, that's when it happens. Was a bite. Okay guys, last cast and then I have to call it a day because I I can't see anything almost. It was a good day. Anytime you catch a 40 centimeter trout it's a good day. Didn't catch anything on the mouse but it did indicate me that trout that I caught an after on the bloodworm because I got a a bite and I think when it followed, it was that 40 centimeter trout. I gave pull a rest, changed to a bloodworm, and, and caught him. I believe I'm gonna I gonna come back here my next day off. And for now, I'm gonna go home, gonna take some rest, and think think of a new lure for our box.